Okay, pray is one day 17, and today we're to pray for our outreach programs. And the scripture for today is 1 Corinthians 9, 19 through 23. Although I am free and belong to no man, I make myself to slave, a slave to everyone, to win as many as possible. To the Jews, I became a Jew, to win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law although I myself am not under the law, so as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I became like one not having the law, although I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law. So as to win these not having the law, to the weak I am weak, <clears throat> to win the weak, I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save them. I do all this for the sake of the gospel that I may share in its blessings. Uh, you might ask, what is the definition of outreach? Outreach is the church's mission to help share God's word to the community. Trying to connect the church to people outside the church. And outreach al must always have a spiritual purpose. Comfortable churches naturally gravitate more toward in-reach than outreach because the members know one another and they are comfortable in their relationships. However, outreach is an essential part of a church's mission to be salt and light to those around us. Outreach is a platform for a church's evangelistic efforts. When you think of outreach in Morganfield First Baptist, you think of things like free community meals, block parties, community free clothes giveaway, trunk and treat, racetrack ministry, meal for fair workers, nursing home ministries, mission trips, just to name a few. The bottom line of all of these was to share the love of Jesus. The biggest outreach effort that comes to my mind is VBS. VBS is an entire church effort, and I think that's one of the things that makes it so special. I flat out love Bible school. I, my DNA yells Bible school. When I was a child, we did Bible school for two weeks. Then we would go with a friend to their church for two weeks. You throw in two weeks of a revival and a week at GA camp, and that was my summer. In Bible school, the gospel is shared several times every day to many children who've never heard the story of Jesus. Yes, kids here in Morganfield that have never heard the story of Jesus. I've probably worked in Bible schools for 30 years or more. I've done it in parks, in nursing homes, at a boys club in Anderson, South Carolina, in a gang neighborhood in Youngstown, Ohio, in an unwelcoming community in Connecticut, under a carport in eastern Kentucky that was at least 100 degrees, housing projects, and in a lot of churches. We did it in downtown Louisville, where the parents came with kids because they didn't trust us, and we got to tell them about Jesus too. With COVID, we weren't able to do VBS in the usual way last year. We did make an effort to share materials at Trunk and Treat, but it wasn't the same. VBS may never look the same as before, but pray that God will provide a way this year for us to have Bible school <clears throat> and reach kids for Jesus. Pray about where God would have you use your spiritual gifts in VBS and volunteer when we come up with a plan. Pray for God to prepare your heart to love on children and share Jesus with them. The pandemic has required many cooperative church-wide outreach programs to be put on hold. However, it hadn't taken away the opportunity for individuals to share Jesus. Pray for God to show you ways you can do that. Pray for our church to become all things to all people and for that to become our church focus. Thank you. Have a good day.